We are live on Facebook. My name is Peter Brooks. I have an important message for the citizens of the city of Baltimore, particularly the members of the Druid Heights Community Development Corporation and the chairman of its board, uh, Miss Jackie Cornish. Now, if I were to text you, you will call it harassment. And if I call you, well, we don't do so good on the phone. And if we try and hold a meeting, uh, you're going to put a whole bunch of stipulations on there that I can't abide to. So I decided to make this video to speak directly to you so that you may see me for who I am and see the depth of my heart. I know you worked really hard and feel really fortunate to have gotten to the point where you are in terms of building a park at the location where my grandfather and aunt grew up. I think it's a wonderful concept for the Druid Heights area to finally have some green space and your decision to name it Legends Square is a good one and an appropriate one and we thank you for it. Today I sent a press release out and I called your organization Greedy. It's not a very pretty name, Greedy, not a nice thing to be called, but I felt I had the authority to do that because you are unwilling to share. And I think a person is defined as greedy as one who takes everything for themselves and nothing for anyone else. You can build your park, fine, but no objection, just leave my grandfather's house there. Why? Because it's a better neighborhood with it. Because it's an important place in history. Because there's money in preservation, and I think what neighborhood doesn't need economic development? <clears throat> and I think economic development, that neighborhood is a, is a good thing. <clears throat> you have a buyer, and everyone who has read it loves his proposal. And he has met every requirement that the city has asked for him. All he wants to do is rehab those houses and create living spaces for the inspired minds that will be required to support the Black Historic Arts and Entertainment District. This is my family, my family's home, and it happens to be an important place in American history that no arch or brick walkway can ever replace. So you have to forgive me in advance as I apply the most pressure I can on you so that you can answer to the public in a way that makes sense why. Why can't you have a park and a historic house? You won't talk to me and listen to what I've got to say. Then just tell me why. Um, is it worth making so many people sick? Is it worth... Can the reasons for your wanting a park supersede that of a human life? Is it that important? We feel we can do better. You just have to give us a chance. We can do better than just a park. Just give us a chance. That's all I ask. Just give us a chance.